See how it goes. I was gonna pack my snowshoes, but I think this hike, it's not required. Might as well just ditch the weight, really. Well, considering going back down to the car to get snowshoes that I arbitrarily decided to leave behind. Here, let's go. Let's 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 stop the video off my ugly mug and see if I can get a zoom in on this view. Okay. Well, we skipped work. <laughs> it's a nice day. Temps are warming up. Couldn't resist going out on another trip. This time we're out by a gorgeous lake called Lake Cushman and we're headed up a mountain called Mount Rose. We'll see how it goes. I was going to pack my snowshoes, but uh, freaking, I don't know. I think this hike, it's not required. Might as well just ditch the weight, really. So, onward and upward, guys. No harsh weather this time. Got my ombros with my side shields. Looking slick. This is a really steep trail. We're already getting into that elevation game. Whew. Now, I haven't got too far up. I'm considering going back down to the car to get snowshoes that I decided to leave behind. I made my decision. We're going back down. Pretty nice view of Lake Cushman. On my way back down to pick up my snowshoes. I'm not gonna lie, my mood has dipped. Hopefully it picks back up. Give me motivation to make this hike happen. Whew. All right, let's get back down to the truck. Oh man, it's so pretty down here. It's a nice day. I gotta try to keep my mood up. It's a pretty big mistake. Yeah, I saw those day hikers without snowshoes and I was thinking to myself, I don't need snowshoes. So I took them off my pack and then I made it a quarter way up the mountain. Then I realized that uh, I'm gonna need snowshoes and it's pretty obvious. So, yeah, my mood's pretty low and my motivation isn't really there right now, but I'm going to force myself to do it. Yeah, it's just like life, man. You make a bad decision and you just got to get over it and move on. It's so pretty out here, though. There it is. The beginning of the trail. We're starting all over. Hour and a half wasted, but... Now we get to strap more shoes, more weight on our back, and slog our way back up. At least we got down quick. But this is not an easy trail. We got 4,200 feet of elevation gain in about three miles. Ugh. All right, let's get back to the truck and grab our snowshoes. All right, we got our snowshoes on. Ready to just hit it. <laughs> Get those spirits up, Chris. Get those spirits up. Got our tank top mesh on. Ready to just sweat. Ready to freaking conquer this mountain, man. Conquer. <laughs> Ain't no stopping it. 
back on the trail leaving the truck behind looking at the pretty lake look at that look at that lake blue water boom huh forgot my tripod so there's not going to be any walking by shots it's just going to be all me holding the camera this time so i guess it means i don't have to backtrack back by that waterfall walking backwards hard all right we're about to hit the slog I'll put the camera away, walk up this hill again. Again. Give you another gorgeous view of that waterfall. Got these big trekking poles that I don't really like, but they're the only ones that fit the REI universal snow cap things. I'm gonna have to get some for my Faison. Faison trekking pole. All right, back on the trail. Ooh. Slogging my way back up. Remember this view? That's where we're back up to right now. Yeah. Well, I've officially made it back to the spot where I turn around to get uh, my snowshoes. It was really hard to get them back up here. Double the effort. But I got my secret weapon this trip. If you're ever at a low point in your morale, yeah, this will get you right back up in a good mood again. We'll just slog on. About 1,500 feet. Got to make it to 4,100 feet if we want to sump this mountain. Get back to it. Time to get some spikes on. Oh. It's all snow. Not quite deep enough for snowshoes yet. $5 Walmart spikes. They're okay. Really stay on that well, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, I cannot believe how steep this trail is, man. <sighs> Conditions have gotten a lot harder. Snow is soft but packed, if that makes any sense. I mean, I could walk on it. <sighs> Trekking poles help immensely. I'm so glad I brought my snow baskets. Took the time to put those on last night. We're slogging, man. Slogging. I'm glad I didn't take my rain jacket. I actually made the decision not to take it. <clears throat> well, creek way down there. I think I've officially passed the spot where we decided to stop and camp on New Year's a year and three months ago. Yeah, slogging up, slogging up, slogging up. We gotta go, go, go. We're gonna try summit this mountain. Maybe even pitch up on top of it. Oh, that'd be epic. This trail is steep. Normally, normally a trail offers switchbacks, you know, on the steep parts. And this trail does have switchbacks, but man, it has a, like a lot of ridge, ridge walk style trail where it's just like straight up, it seems like. You know, I was always wondering what crampons would be useful for. Crampons would be really nice for this type of snow. It's slushy on top but compacted enough to where you don't need snowshoes. I got the nano spikes on, they're doing me good. But wow, I am really feeling it. This is a very difficult elevation trail. Summit's 4,100 feet, but it doesn't seem like a ton, you know? But uh, you start at basically zero. You start at sea level. Parking lot is not very high off the ground right down by the lake we're going up there oh man 
And then we're going even further up behind that. You can't see it. All right. But yeah, it's officially time to put snowshoes on. It is just raining on me. There's just snow melting on all these trees and it's pouring. Dang, I should have brought my rain jacket. I thought I was smart. <laughs> There's bombs coming off these trees, man. Huge chunks of snow. I hope I don't get hit with one. Oh man, there's like bombs like that, like way up. And they're falling like boom! All around me. You see those chunks up there? I think the summit's right up here. About another thousand feet of elevation gain, maybe another mile and a half. We're only half a, half a mile away from the summit, but I think I gotta call it. I got my snowshoes on, and it's warming up really, really fast, so the snow is getting softer and softer and softer. And I've reached a point where my snowshoes are sinking in. Dang it, man, I'm so close to the summit. But, it's just gonna get warm and stay warm, and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to navigate back. Uh, so, I'm going back down. <sighs> Darn it. Yeah, I made it to about 3,600 feet. The summit's 4,200 4, feet. Oh, it's just too soft. best view I could give you. <sighs> yeah, we gotta go back down. The snow is too soft. <sighs> Bombs are dropping. Heading back down. Snow is just getting soft. Oh, still able to stay on top of it here in the shade following my tracks back down. I definitely don't know where the trail is, the official trail. Um, it's really hard to see because, you know, it's there's just snow everywhere. I'm sinking in, man. I'm glad I turned around. Imagine camping up top and then coming back the next day, even with snowshoes on, post-holing. It would make getting down off this mountain pretty hellish if not dangerous so yeah we called it half a mile from the summit I'm still conflicted about it but I'm like 80% sure it was the right decision I mean I'm solo you know when you're solo you just have to err on the side of caution and, and what <laughs> If one of these bombs hit me in the head, I could get injured, man. Oh, oh. See? Freaking post holing. All right, camera away. I got to get off this hill. There's a really steep section coming up. Snow's a lot softer. Oh. I can't see my old. This is where. I, this is where I got the water. I don't know. And this is why I turned around. Fell into this little shallow crevasse. Just straight fell because it's a creek and I didn't see it. It's like a little snow bridge, and I fell down into it. Man, I gotta get off this mountain. <sighs> Nerves are getting rattled here. That, that could have been an injury right there, falling that far down. <sighs> One thing I've learned about snowshoeing in these conditions is 
It really sucks going downhill in snowshoes when you start sliding and then the front of your snowshoe like catches inside the snow. And then you just like, it almost wants to like break your ankle. <laughs> it's really hard on your ankles when you're going down in soft snow and on steep terrain and snowshoes. But if I take them off, I'm just gonna be freaking post holing really badly. I don't know. I'm gonna take them off in a little bit here when we clear this hairy section. But uh, it's a little less sketchy here because there's not as much snow on the trees. We got down from where the bombs are. Most of these bombs have melted and fallen down already. But the snow is getting much softer. Oh, I wish I had crampons. These little micro spikes are not doing much. But it is really pretty out here, man. I wish you guys could see the same view of the lake as I can through the cracks in the trees. It's not as clear on video. Oh, I didn't get a view. I didn't get the majestic view that I wanted. But we're heading down the switchbacks. No longer have our snowshoes on. We're on the packed the packed down snow where it's soft but it's been treaded on so we're not post holing let's get back down the mountain reflect upon our failed summit attempt it always feels good to get out you know I feel better now than I did at the start of the trip yeah, it's a steep hill and we came down it and we're going down the steep hill via switchbacks we're just hanging out in the snow fell on my butt again and I thought I'd record myself before I got up Ah, I'm getting wet. I wish I had crampons. Oh, I should have brought them. <sighs> Look at that view, though. You can see that view. Oh, no. Doesn't want to show you. Maybe I can zoom it. Here, let's go. Let's, let's, let's stop the video off my ugly mug and see if I could get a zoom in on this view. We're out of the snow. Got a little view. This steep trail isn't much easier to go down than it is to go up. My legs are like jello. Jello. But we're out of the snow. Let's go. But we're almost down to the bottom. Bottom of this hill down by the lake is where we parked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Bob. Well, guys, I don't know if I'm going to post this one. Seemed like kind of a duh of a video. But if I do, thanks for watching. And I will see you on another adventure.